Okay, so we're a little bit further on with this model. Um, I've gone around and got it pretty much halfway complete. So if we now hit S to put symmetry back on and enable it, you can see that it's not the best fit, but it's not a million miles away. However, if we wanted to edit this, we couldn't. We can only edit this side. And if we exported this as it was now, it would only export this side, it wouldn't export the other, uh, because it doesn't see this geometry. This is just reference. So if we want to change that, then what we need to do is we need to go up to the topo, and we need to, say, apply symmetry to either all layers or current layer. So if we apply symmetry to current layer, and then switch the symmetry off, what you'll see is we actually now have, um, we now don't have symmetry anymore, but we do have all this geometry. So we can now, if I go to my brush and increase the size, you can use the bracket keys to increase the size of this radius, same as if it was in Photoshop. Or you can use another mouse wheel. We can actually move this geometry around to see where it changes, where it's different. So we're pulling it out here. We start to get a better fit. So if you've got something that's completely symmetrical, this is obviously good to go, is ideal. But for something like this, what it does is it gives you gets you part of the way there. Um, but what you're still going to have to go in and kind of edit some of this stuff because it won't be quite the same on both sides. So that's what I'm going to do now. The other thing as well is I didn't come right up to the edge on this knowing that I was going to do this. So to connect these these parts together, we're going to go back into our split and go in and basically you know, start to connect these objects. So right click, pull that across to there and we've got that connected and then we can start to connect this geometry up. And as we go around this we'll start to see the areas where we can make it fit a little bit better. This in a bit. To there and then pull this closer to this. It's not liking that. Let's try again. Sometimes it just doesn't want to do it, and in that case, you usually just move your viewport around a little bit and it'll work, it'll work better. So that would probably work better if it was closer to there. And areas where it's just getting a bit too difficult to see what's going on, say around here, you just delete the, you can delete the polygons you don't want, and you can just redraw those parts. So it's probably easier. But areas like this are really good fit, and having to remake this would be a bit of a nightmare. So, um, but like areas like this, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of work to make that fit. It's probably easier just to delete it. Yeah, the, the polys around there and then just rebuild that section so that's what I'm going to do now just clean that stuff up and then hopefully what I'll have is I'll have a final model that'll be ready to um, UV